Et lui avec sa 5-8 là. C'est un malade mec. C'est un malade mec. And that's the way we're kicking off Sandy Sunday this week. Yes. If you watched last week's show, you will know we did a bit of a special of what to look out for when you're on the water. Um, kite surfing was pretty high on the list. <laughs> yeah. And Dad's was up there too. Oh, yes. Straight in the snozzer. You're right. But we did miss a few. So as you just saw in the opening uh, uh, video, opening clip, um, that is definitely something you have to look out for. Your feet coming out of the foot straps. Oh, it just nearly splits the kipper on the landing. Now this happens a lot in windsurfing, sometimes unintentional. And sometimes, you want to just get away from your gear. But either way, it's pretty spectacular. I mean, some of them crazy no-footed forwards or just the full-on bales. Yeah, absolutely epic. But my favourite clip that I've received in all the years of uh, like your feet coming out of the foot straps, just check out this thing. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> like a full Superman flying through the air. Oh, that is just absolute gold. Yeah, let's have another look at that thing. Yeah, what a classic. What an absolute classic. Now, there is sometimes, like I said before, when you want your feet to come out the foot straps. Now, we didn't feature this this week, uh, last week, I should say, uh, but it is when you're flying along. You're absolutely concentrating. You may be looking at your GPS, you're cruising, and then suddenly, yes, you hit the bottom. This is 100% where you want your feet to come out of the foot straps. Now, this is a very common problem within windsurfing. I get sent this type of clip probably more than most. There is clips from Holland, uh, Australia, all over the place, some very fast. <laughs> and some going reasonably quick, uh, but they also damage their gear. Oh, I know that is must be got a big hole in your sail. <laughs> yeah, absolutely raging. I've seen broken booms. Yeah, absolutely crazy. Uh, but I don't blame you guys because it isn't easy to work out how deep the water is, especially when you're sailing in some darker waters. The guys over in Cape Verde or, you know, New Caledonia or something where it's absolutely see-through, that is also a problem because it always looks shallow even when it's deep. So it is difficult, but there is no excuse for this. <laughs> How do you hit the beach? Like, surely you can see that thing coming. Surely there is no excuse. How many out there have hit the beach? Yeah, you surely got to see that coming. But sometimes, you know, you're out there, you're sailing, you see something about to happen. Maybe you're getting out of control and you decide, I'm going to abort this mission early. That also doesn't work out too well. <laughs> <laughs> just tries to get off. The gear just goes and just look afterwards. He almost looks super stunned. We've also seen the classic running man. You know the end is nigh and you try and run yourself out of trouble. <laughs> now that's a beauty. I don't know how many I can dig out, but I did, I've had a few running mans over the years. So yeah, if you get the timing right, maybe you can just run off. Uh, and that brings us on to something else, timing. Timing. Um, it's not necessarily an object, but sometimes a moving object, such as a wave, yes. They are way more tricky to work out. You think, I think I got this. I think I got this. Oh no. Bang! Like, whoa! I've had a fair few of these over the years. Like I said, you think you've made it. Yeah, 
and you just don't make it. Very tricky wave sailing. There are also objects out when you're wave sailing um, and these ones do move around a little bit. Surfers, yeah, be careful of those guys. Yeah, surfers definitely, you've got to stay clear of them. Swimmers. I mean, what are you thinking? Like swimming where people are sailing, windsurfing, it is dangerous. If you've got a better half who likes to swim when you're out windsurfing, maybe tell them to swim in the designated area because you do not want to get hit by a windsurfer or worse still, a foil. No, I don't have a video. Um, but swimmers are not the only things. Uh, in fact, these next things you really want to be careful for. We don't get so many of them in Northern Europe, but when I was in Australia, I definitely saw a few. This moves us on to this next clip. Sharks! Yeah, they are out there. They are big fish. They swim in the sea. They are out there in the clear water. You can see them in the dark water. You don't necessarily see them, but they are there. Stay clear of sharks. Anyone hit a shark? I mean, I did hear a story of Nalu. Maybe I could find the picture where uh, a guy was sailing, this is in Australia, Northern Australia, sailing through a shoal of fish, the fish were all jumping, and he just catapulted. He got up and there was a shark trapped in his boom. How true that story is. I heard it from libel sources. Apparently it's true, but that sounds terrifying. I heard turtles are up there as well. No videos of that, but turtles are up on the list of things to avoid. Um, who sent me that shark picture in? Guess. This guy. Cannonball. Cannonball. Yes, Rob sent me that shark picture in. So massive thanks to Rob for sending that in. If you want to send your clips in, send it at windsurfing.tv. Fails, bails, your first time moves. Maybe it's just a good session. Anything that we can put out there. Um, because I know you guys have got clips. You've just got to get in there, get on that computer and send them in. Uh, we've also got to thank the sponsors, SavannSharp.com. Yes, they're still supporting Send It Sunday. Now we do have some big crashes before the end of the show, but before we do that, we got to read out the winner of last week's competition. We did Spot the Air. It was Robbie Swift in Fiji. You had a choice of, I think, one to six or one to seven. I can't remember now. Um, guess what number it was? Quite a lot of you got this right. It was number one. Yes, it's always number one, isn't it? It's always number one. So the winner of that hat, that windsurfing TV hat, you can't buy these things. Only winners and special people get these hats. Uh, the winner is... Whichever side it is, yes, you have just won a hat. Get in touch and I will send it over. Uh, we do have a new competition this week. It's Spot the Rider. Yeah, well, so we've got Sarah Keita in Fuerteventura a few years back. Um, and she is being picked up by a famous rider. Who is the rider? You've got a choice of one to six, I think. And the list goes with number one. Oda Johanna, is it Oda? Or is it number two? Amado Vriesweik, could be. Is it number three? Yentl Cares. Is it four? Dieter van der Eiken, looks pretty realistic. Or is it number five? Sarah Keita. <laughs> that would be freaking weird. Or is it number six? Galito Estrado. Well, Sweat Ventura looks like he's doing pretty well. Or is it number seven, Stephen Van Brockhoven? So there you go. You've got a choice of one to seven. If you remember, put member next to your answer and you'll get the chance of winning a windsurfing TV hat. If you're not a member, you can play just for fun. Just don't put member in your answer. Just put the number, number one to seven. Okay, so uh, next up, I got sent this picture this week. Yes, now this is an absolute classic, especially for the old boys. Um, as a bonus question, who is that man? Who is that legend? How is that board? That's just such a good look. If you know him now, it's friggin' brilliant. Uh, but that brought me on to uh, things to be careful of. Speed sailors. If you've ever seen the clips uh, from the 80s, 90s of the speed events, they were just absolutely epic, especially Tarifa, that famous event. I think it was Tarifa. Uh, we Peter Hart commentating, there were some crazy crashes, just absolute balls to the walls, just absolutely mad stuff going on. I'd love to see that type of uh, thing come back, just crazy speed events in 
places that are not great for speed, like a bit choppy and a bit scary. Just amazing stuff. I mean, how people didn't kill themselves back then, I have no idea. But it made me think you don't want to be in the water taking pictures of those guys because that can be dangerous. Brings us on to the next thing. Cameramen. Watch out for cameramen. Or should I say cameramen? Watch out for windsurfers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because the problem is when you get a camera in the water, everyone wants to get close. They want to get the shot. But luckily, uh, well, he's got a bit of a laugh on him. Yeah, but freestylers, they are friggin' dangerous. You have to be careful of freestylers. Or freestylers have to be careful of the bottom when trying Konos. Couple of great examples here. Check out this. <laughs> Yes, like you watch the mass just load up, boing. Uh, and we're going to end with my favourite clip of this week's episode, which is this Kono effort. Just check out the ping on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. Only one thing left to say that no matter where you are in the world, don't forget to send it.